Donald Trump isn't the only person on the campaign trail having troubles with facts. Trump, Hillary Clinton, and their running mates are keeping fact checkers busy. All of the comments you're about to hear are not true. Hillary wants to abolish, essentially abolish, the Second Amendment. We have the most dynamic, productive workforce in the world, bar none. She actually said out loud, we are going to raise taxes on the middle class. The thing that has amazed me is the, the depth of his trash talking of Latinos, um, saying that all Mexicans are rapists and going after, you know, Latino immigrants. The Obama-Clinton war on coal has cost Michigan over 50,000 jobs. Director Comey said that my answers were truthful and what I've said is consistent with what I have told the American people. That there were decisions discussed and made to classify retroactively certain of the emails. I was Joining us now to separate fact from fiction this election season is PolitiFact founding editor. His name is Bill Adair. He's also a Duke journalism professor, and he joins us from good old Raleigh, North Carolina. That's Charlie Rose country. Hello. Good to see you, Bill Adair. It is. Good morning, Gail. So you just heard the montage that we put together of untruths. And before we get into specifics, how does, how does this season compare to political seasons in the past in terms of factually challenged statements, if you will? Well, it's been uh, crazy busy for us <laughs> yes, at PolitiFact. Um, there's um, the magnitude of the claims, and particularly the magnitude of the falsehoods, um, is really remarkable. And I think it just reflects how the media has changed. And there's so many more ways now that candidates can get their messages out without the filter of the news media, and that allows them to say things that often aren't true. Donald Trump says he's being, that he was being sarcastic with his latest comment. Does that exempt him from the fact or fiction test? I'll tell you, we, um, we had originally rated his claim uh, pants on fire, which is our lowest rating, the rating we use for falsehoods that are not just false, but ridiculously false. Um, but it's, you know, it's really remarkable. Um, here's a, here's a, a talking point that he's been using for several days now. He doubled down on it yesterday, as you noted in the interview with Hugh Hewitt. Um, and, and now he claims he was being sarcastic. It's just truly remarkable. I think we need a new rating on our truth -a meter for this. You're talking about the claim, obviously, that, that he had that Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton founded ISIS. Our John Dickerson says it, it's statements like that that Trump is sort of baiting these fact checkers like you to keep the conversation going. Is that what he's doing? Well, I think um, it, it is remarkable that he wants to keep the conversation going, particularly when I can't imagine that any um, communication strategist would say it makes sense. I mean, he is um, getting fact checkers and other journalists to point out again and again that he's um, that his statements are false, and it just makes no. It doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, is he baiting fact checkers? You know, I think um, there's definitely uh, he likes baiting everybody. But Bill, I, I mean, is there some point to the notion that the that the checking system needs to be refined at all when somebody says the sky's not blue. I mean, is, 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 there, is there a need to, to fact check that? Well, we're, we're selective in, in what we fact check at PolitiFact. So we will check claims where we think people will wonder, really, is that true? And I think with the, with the claim that um, President Obama and Hillary Clinton founded ISIS, I think it's legitimate. You know, people will hear that and wonder, really, what role did they play? And that's what we did at PolitiFact. We looked into it. We found that ISIS was actually founded in 2004, so four years before Barack Obama was elected. Mm -hmm. And those are the kind of things we fact check. So it's not like we're social scientists, we're journalists, and we're trying to satisfy our, um, our readers and viewers' curiosity. Yeah, Hillary Clinton obviously is not immune right now. A recent poll, 59% of people say that Hillary Clinton is dishonest. How does she stand up against the fact checking and that percentage as well? Yeah, you know, it's interesting. Her percentage of false and pants on fire ratings is about the same as other American politicians. Um, I think it's 13 percent. Um, by contrast, Trump is at 55 percent. Um, but I think what, what has happened with Secretary Clinton is that people remember the big ones. And so the statement with uh, Comey that you played earlier, um, you know, there was one where she 
repeated something she had said before that the fact checkers had said was false. And people remember those big moments. Phil Adair, uh, good luck keeping up with the next uh, three months. Thank you very <laughs> You're much. You're going to be busy. Thank you very much for your time. <laughs> we are.